In this video, we're going to talk about breath of fire or Kapalabhati breath. Now this breath practice is a really interesting one because it both energizes and calms the body down. It starts by stimulating the sympathetic nervous system, the nervous system of the fight and flight response, by making us more energized and alert. And then later, it stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, the one that calms the body down and helps us dive into deeper focus. Kapalabhati breath, this breath of fire, the way that exhales work, it's going to be really sharp, quick exhales through the nose, kind of like you're trying to expel something from the nose or something like that. Sounds a little bit like this. Now, when we complete a full round of Kapalabhati breath, we're going to start with 30 rounds of those exhales. And in time, as you get better and better with it, you can increase 10 exhales into each round. So let's do one full round together. Let the eyes close, sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in through the nose. A nice and smooth, a deep exhale. This is just a preparation breath. And then let's begin. Inhale. And exhale your breath of fire. 30 rounds. Deep breath in, nice and smooth, a deep breath out. Take a smooth inhale through the nose. And this time we'll hold the breath at the top for up to 30 seconds. Take a moment to notice the state of your body and the state of your mind here. When you're ready, you'll exhale your breath out. And repeat this as many times as you'd like. Again, feel free to challenge yourself by adding 10 rounds of that forceful exhale to each full round, each full cycle of your Kapalabhati or breath of fire. So the effects of Kapalabhati breath help to bring a little bit more energy to your body and a little bit more calmness as well. So you can try practicing this in the morning, right after you wake up, as you start your day, or maybe at the beginning of a yoga practice to see how it affects your practice. Have fun practicing this breath. See you on the mat.